A goal in Google Analytics is usually a sale or a sales lead. In this video, I'm going to overview how to define a goal in Google Analytics, and then once you define them, how to get them to work with segments so you can really understand who is completing your goals and why. Let's get started. I always start the process of goals by reminding people to remember the real world, or in this case, at least your website. So in general, you want to define your goal before you get into analytics. So a common type of goal is a feedback form. So in this example, we want to use the definition of a goal as somebody who lands on our website and they have a question such as like, hey, I have a zillion dollars and I want to hire you and they're going to click on our contact us button. So I'm going to show you they click, they end up clicking on the contact us button. Let me turn this off. They click on the contact us button and then they fill out this form, you know, their name is John Doe and they put in their email, you know, John Doe at John Doe.com. And then they send a message, I have a zillion dollars and want to hire you, right? So I want to know how many people are coming to the website and sending some type of inquiry. So then they hit submit and then they end up here at jm-seo.org slash thanks. And this is called the thank you page, which becomes the goal. So you want to figure out your process if it's an e-commerce site, it's up to the point that they put the things in the, sh in the shopping cart. And then when they purchase, they get to a thank you page that says, thank you for purchasing your widget. Okay, so you've defined the goal in the website world. Then you want to turn and go to Google Analytics. Now we want to look at how to define the goals inside of Analytics. And there's a really stupid problem in the interface, which is that you can't define a goal inside of the reporting tab. It's really common for people to get confused here. So inside of Google Analytics, okay, let me turn off these guys here. Inside of Analytics over here on the left, you're in conversions slash goals, but there's nothing here that tells you how do you define a goal. So here's the problem. Here's where people get lost. You have to click on the admin tab. And then on the admin tab over here on the right under view, you click on goals. So to see the goals, you have to go to admin view goals. And that's where you define them. So remember when you're defining a goal, you've got to get from admin to here to define it. And you've got to turn on the goal first. So you're going to click on goals. And then you click on new goal and follow the instructions. I'm going to show you for the goal that I just created the um, email form. Basically, it's a really simple goal. You just, you're going to basically say, give me every time that someone hits slash thanks. Remember that was our thank you URL. So that begins with slash thanks. You don't put your domain in. So you'll put in jm-seo.org slash thanks. You just put in slash thanks and that's it. If you want to be more complicated, you can define things like a funnel, which is how many paths they go through, etc. You can click on verify and it's going to tell you how many people have come through. So that goal is good. Once you've defined it in the admin tab, then go back to the reporting tab. Okay, so in the reporting tab, now when I go to goals and I click on overview and I click on all goals, you'll see here, here's my email form. So I had 93 email forms in the last month fulfilling that goal. That's my email inquiries generated from the website. Next, let's look at goals with respect to segments. So using goals with, res with respect to segments or advanced segments, as they used to be called, is really powerful. So the idea would be, I want to know my traffic from YouTube, my traffic from Facebook, my traffic from organic, which ones completed my goals? Where did I get my email signups from? Where did I get my email inquiries from? So you want to do that with respect to your segments. Okay, so... Hopefully you've watched the video on how to create a segment. 
So I'm going to go into my segments and I'm going to click on my start and I can say I want to compare all my users with my organic traffic, with my YouTube traffic, with my Facebook traffic and I'm going to hit apply. So now I've turned on four segments on the top, all users, organic, YouTube converters. And then I can go down here on the left and I can click overview to my goals. And then I can see that of all the goals that I have defined on this website, right? You know, drum roll please, the winner is of course all users, but organic and YouTube are actually nearly tied or YouTube's actually a little bit better, right? And why is that important? I think I don't have Facebook turned on. Let me fix this. I want to turn on Facebook. So I'm going to turn on Facebook here. My bad. So we have all users, organic, YouTube, Facebook. And you can see here that Facebook has basically very little traffic and no goals. YouTube has not very much traffic and a lot of goals. Organic has a lot of traffic and, a, and, and pretty good goals as well. So that's how you can use advanced segments within respect to goal. Now, you can even flip this around, okay? Click on your advanced segments, go to system. There's a wonderful advanced segment called converters. I'm gonna find it here for you really quickly. Converters are somebody who did a goal of some type. So for instance, that could be e-commerce or any goal. I can hit apply. So this is essentially looking at my website from the perspective of why is it doing that? Looking at the perspective of people who com completed a goal. So now I can go up here and I can say, okay, what of people who completed a goal, where did they come from? So I can click on acquisition and I can answer that question, where did they come from? And I can see here that social is a lot of the traffic. It's almost you know 20% of the traffic is from social, even though that's not 20% of my total traffic answering and telling me the marketing question in this example the social media traffic the YouTube traffic is really valuable in terms of generating goal conversions versus other types of traffic so you can flip it around and actually have a goal be a segment that's sort of an advanced uh, idea Okay, let's wrap up and remember what we learned. So we learned first that you need to define the goals on your website and a simple goal is something like a feedback form. Who sent in a request for a quote? And you wanna use a thank you form, a thank you uh, URL to, to memorialize the completion of the form. That's the easiest way to do that. And I have links in here uh, for how to do that uh, and some information. Next, you learned that you can go into uh, Google Analytics and you can define goals but they're hidden under the admin tab so you have to go into the admin tab to find them and you need to turn those goals on immediately because it's like a TiVo if it's not recording it's not recording you can't go back in time and capture this data retroactively and finally we realized that you can use goals in combination with segments to really be very powerful in terms of slicing and dicing your data to see YouTube versus Facebook or you can turn it around entirely and do a segment that's everyone that completed a goal and then look at where they came from or what they did so it's really powerful uh, stuff in terms of your goals and analytics thank you for watching the YouTube if you have any questions put them in the YouTube comments and uh, subscribe to our channel.